Thermite produces a stream of molten iron which melts through the car in seconds. It's two and a half thousand degree heat igniting the expanding petrol in a devastating fireball, leaving behind a car that won't be going very far anytime soon. <laughs> performance from Collins. But what's this? Jones walking off. Causing fireworks in Dynasty was one thing, but our pyrotechnics are clearly too much for the 73-year-old golden girl. Oh, well, she certainly gave that small hatchback some of her own special va va -voom. Movie stars exploding cars. Thanks, Joni. You've done us proud. <laughs> Jamie's faced with a very challenging 15-footer. Quite tricky, this one. Oh, he's gone for a very unusual technique. Worth having another look at that one. Yes, over the top and in. Very flash. But there goes the spark. No time to stand around and admire it. It's time for everyone to push off pretty sharpish. Flying caravan soon to be the order of the day, so taking cover, everyone's priority now. Best not hang around. Not while the fuse wire is burning to its inevitable conclusion. And there she blows. Copper sulfate burns with a bluey-green flame. A standard ingredient in all children's chemistry sets, it makes very pretty crystals when it's made into a super-saturated solution. Pretty damn useless as a chemical, then. Its real merit clearly displayed when combined with a caravan bomb. The conclusion to just one more fine round of Brainiac Golf. Surely not from there! Yes! yes! Bobby George! Double tap from the middle of a plough field! He's got the title! And straight away off goes the fuse wire. Just a matter of time till it ignites the C4. Taking cover is now the priority for all concerned. Because when this Cavalier GT goes up, lumps of caravan are going to rain down on this picturesque corner of Northamptonshire. But look at that. Bobby George, ever the model professional, still got time for his fans. Smile for the camera. This is Tagration! The explosive material in C4 is cyclotrimethylene trinitramine, commonly called RDX, which stands for Research Development Explosive. When detonated, gases are released at 26,000 feet per second. No wonder squaddies use it to blow up tanks. A very satisfactory end to a fine game of arrows. Bobby George 1, Brainiac and Caravan, nil. To get clear of the blast zone, our hero must jumpstart his motor. Don't worry, ma'am. He'll get you to a safe distance in no time. What a hero! A mixture of oxidizer and metallic fuel, aluminum flash powder is what makes firecrackers explode and produces a heck of a bang. It was also once used in photographers' flash guns. Say cheese! Better leg it, Frank. The short fuse is already lit. Time for the knockout blow. Know what I mean, Harry? Dynamite was invented as a safe-to-handle form of TNT. But it's not so safe when lit, knocking seven bells out of a caravan. Reminiscent of Frank in his heyday. Uh, just without the glass jaw. What a blast! Good work, Katrina! Everybody loved that one! From the other angle, we clearly see the Napoleon make easy work of those sacks. You've heard of flower bombs, but this is the real deal. As the flower mixes with the air, it becomes a very dangerous explosive mix, which easily ignites in a beautiful fireball. Phew! <laughs> uh, but 
the fuse is too short. Be careful you don't drop it. Alcohol is very flammable, you know. It's a calamity! Waza is ready, steady, cooked! In a mix of charcoal, sulfur and potassium nitrate. And gin. It's a tragic day for the world of culinary cuisine. Because Waza somehow survived! <laughs> Two! One! Did you hear that, John? It'll take a while for the sound to get here. <laughs> Our hero plants the Torpex explosive. With 15 seconds of fuse, there's no time to waste, Super Brainiac. in torpedoes, Torpex is 50% more powerful than Humble TNT. The aluminium powder in its composition creates a longer, more destructive explosion, ensuring this grubby little shed on wheels has caused its last country lane tailback. <laughs> What's this? Carefree Keely doesn't seem too bothered about her knitting needles. Oh, it doesn't matter. She doesn't wear woolens that often anyway. Mercury Fulminate is an extremely toxic primary explosive, highly sensitive to friction and shock. Just right for blasting your last remaining caravan into fiery oblivion. Well done, Keeley. Like all the other minor celebrities before you, you're now free to go. How about a goodbye kiss? No, I think she's playing hard to get. Thanks, Brainiac. No, thank you for playing stars in their caravans. <laughs> In its pure state, RTX is a white crystalline solid. We Americans know it by its proper name, Cyclonite. The Germans call it Hexogen, and the Italians refer to it as T4. Caravans call it Hell on Earth. Problem solved. Our fishermen are free to exploit nature's bounty once more. Thank you, Super Brainiac! Now it's the big one. Here we go then, for the last explosive of the week. Three, two, one! Fantastic pop! Dan seems happy, but what do the judges think? A quick consultation, and they're ready to give their scores. And it's a mighty 11 out of 10 all round! Agnes, Olive and Mavis, they all loved it, and so they should. A worthy winner of Explosive of the Week. Powdered coffee creamer. What a fantastic idea, Vic. We'll be exploding 40 litres of each of our solid, liquid and gas, starting with a coffee creamer. That's enough fake milk to keep an old lady in tea for days. One blast will spread the powder and a second ignite it. Here goes. Three, two, one... Explosion! The coffee companion engulfs our towers, leaving nothing behind but creamy fallout and the faint smell of toffee. In slow motion, we could see the mixture of creamer and air explode violently in a massive ball of flame, measuring a whopping 19 metres across. Three, two, one... In a furious fury of flame, the petrol engulfs our cameras, furiously. 
At first, it doesn't seem as big as the solid's fireball, but in super slow motion, the first charge can be seen spreading the liquid. Immediately followed by ignition, rapidly growing into a fireball busting 25 meter wide cloud of burning fuel, dwarfing the coffee creamer. John! John! Oh, that was the best yet! Yes. Twas almost nuclear! Look at it, it lo looks like a mushroom cloud. I'd use that kind of explosion at something really important, I don't know, like the, the opening of a new supermarket. Mm.